All right, gonna show you how the charismatic cult movement totally butchers Matthew chapter 12 verses 31 and 32 to maintain their cultic control over their followers. Because you see these charismatic cult leaders, these popes in the charismatic movement, they have to have some kind of control over people. So when you tell the truth and state, basically state the obvious about their demonic faking of the gifts of the spirit, they'll say, you better be careful, you're blaspheming the Holy Ghost. I'm gonna show you how they butcher this passage and show you how in the book of Acts, the apostles were actually doing the gifts of the Spirit and they were mocked and they didn't threaten those people with, with blaspheming the Holy Ghost. I'm going to show you the scriptures that the charismatic movement won't show you because they don't believe the Bible. They follow their experiences over scripture. Matthew chapter 12, verses 31 to 32. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. And I'll say, see, you better be careful. If you speak against our gifts of the Spirit, you, you're blaspheming the Holy Ghost. Okay, first of all, you're not Jesus Christ. Okay, if you're a charismatic cult leader up there, you're not Jesus Christ, okay? This is Jesus Christ speaking about himself here, okay? You're not Jesus Christ, so speaking against you is not, is not speaking against the Holy Ghost and Jesus Christ. It's ridiculous. And that would be, and the, and the fact is too, you're not even saved. If you're, if you're one of these charismatic cult leaders, good chances are you're probably not even saved. So this doesn't even apply to you. But notice something as well. Uh, he says in verse 32, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. Okay, this world, what is that referring to? When Jesus Christ is phys was physically on the earth during his time on the earth. Okay, what's the world to come? The millennial kingdom when he's again physically on the earth. What's going on here? You can't commit the unpardonable sin if Jesus Christ is not physically on the earth. And you can't commit the unpardonable sin unless you're speaking it direct directly to Jesus Christ while he's on the earth. So speaking against a preacher is not committing the unpardonable sin. You can only commit it when you're speaking that to Jesus Christ himself. And he can only do it when he's physically on the earth. You can't commit the unpardonable sin right now. Okay? So, I totally butchered the passage, but to further prove this, go to Acts chapter 2, the main go-to passage for these lying charismatic cultists, these lying charismatic devil-possessed witches and sorcerers. I can say all kinds of things about them because they're a bunch of witches, they're a bunch of sorcerers. They use, they're like Simon the Sorcerer in Acts chapter 8, verses 9 to 11. They use sorcery to bewitch the people, to bewitch their followers. But, um... Acts chapter 2, a good passage to use against these charismatics to further prove my point. Acts chapter 2, uh, verses 13 to verse 15. Watch this. Actually, in the context, obviously in Acts chapter 2, verse 13 and 15, in context, verses 4 to 11, they're speaking in tongues and performing the gifts of the Spirit. Look what happens in verses 13 and 15. Others mocking said, these men are full of new wine. But Peter, standing up with eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judah, and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you, and hear, hearken to my words. For these are not drunken, as you suppose, seeing as it is, as it is but the third hour of the day. So, the gifts of the Spirit are being performed in Acts chapter four verses, or Acts chapter two verses four to eleven, and the Jews are mocking, saying, Oh, look, they must be drunk. Look what they're doing. They're full. They're full of wine. They must be drunk. And Peter doesn't threaten them with saying, you better be careful, you're committing the unpardonable sin. No, he doesn't say that. So, you see, the word of God refutes these charismatic cultists. But you see, the charismatics don't believe God's word. They are just like the Roman Catholics or the, the Talmudic Jews who hold their man-made traditions above scripture. And the word of God teaches you can't commit the unpardonable sin today because Jesus said you can only do it to him when he's physically on the earth and when they were doing it in the book of Acts when the Jews were mocking and saying and accusing them of being drunk then Peter does not threaten them with committing the unpardonable sin he just tell, he just he tells them he goes on to explain them the gospel actually but he doesn't say you better be careful you're committing the unpardonable sin you can't commit the unpardonable sin today but the charismatic cult leaders lie about the, the scriptures to have this cult like control over people because they're, they're children of the, of the devil, that's simple. And they're performing lying signs and wonders by the power of Satan, which is scriptural, okay? The Bible does teach that Satan can counterfeit gifts of the Spirit. In Revelation chapter 13, verses 12 to 15, Satan is, is uh, giving the Antichrist power to perform lying signs and wonders, further confirmed in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 8 to 10. So, 
The devils can counterfeit gifts of the spirit, and these charismatic cultists are using the power of Satan to counterfeit the gifts of the spirit, and then they accuse you of blaspheming the Holy Ghost, when really they're the ones who are blaspheming the Holy Ghost by claiming it's the Holy Ghost behind these demonic faking of the gifts of the spirit. Don't be deceived by the charismatic cult. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.